Most colleges are despicable places today. <laughs> despicable. They teach sick doctrines. Babies teach babies at our universities. If I hear you're a professor of gender studies, I assume you're a fool. If I hear you're an epidemiologist, I assume you're a fool. Do you know what epidemiologists did to the world with the lockdowns? Do you know the damage they did to kids? Epidemiologists telling public health officials, telling people to keep schools closed for two years when kids had essentially no danger from COVID? Do you know the damage that the these so-called experts did to kids? Why aren't parents angry at these people? Why do they still believe in quote-unquote experts. Sweden closed down nothing. It has the lowest excess death rate of the last two years on earth. No kid got COVID and they kept the schools open till the age of 16. Sweden shamed the rest of the world in staying open. Thank God for Sweden. It was our, it was our litmus test. People, it, it is very hard. It's hard for me I went to Columbia University graduate school, and, and I remember th if you were a professor of history, I almost sh shook because I thought, wow, what a, I'm meeting someone who has mastered such a great discipline of history or professor of English or whatever. But now if I hear you're a professor, I assume you're a fool. Not all professors are fool. I just make that assumption. Wow. Guilty by association almost. No, not by association, by title. By profession. It's not because they're associating with other fools. Do you know that, uh, I think her name is Amy Wax, a professor at University of Pennsylvania Law School, Ivy League Law School. She wrote a column with another professor saying, you know what, middle class uh, bourgeois values are great values. Basically, as follows, uh, that you, uh, you graduate high school, you get a job, you get married, and then have children after you get married. Those are the four things, and you'll be a winner in this society, basically, if you just do those four things. Just for writing that, 250 law professors at the University of Pennsylvania asked the university to not allow her to teach the introductory course she was teaching. She's been ostracized by fellow lawyers because all she affirmed was middle-class values which they call now, of course, white supremacist values, which, of course, is an insult to non-whites. Oh, I see. Only whites should graduate high school, get a job, get married, and then have children? Blacks should not do that? The only systemic racism in America is from the left. They believe in separate graduations for blacks, separate dormitories for blacks. They believe that it is wrong to be race blind. They believe race tells me something about you. So I have a great question. If race is important... What do you know about a person if you know he or she is black? Name me one thing you know about that person. After all, it, it's, it's supposedly a very important aspect, the most important aspect, according to the morons who teach at colleges. You know Name nothing. Me, nothing. Nothing. You know nothing if you know someone is white. You know nothing if someone is anything. Right. It means nothing. MLK, Skin, yesterday. Yes, MLK, Exactly. Content Skin color is, 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 is less important than shoe color. If your shoes don't match your outfit, especially for a woman, it matters. <laughs> yeah. But your, your skin color doesn't mean a damn thing. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.